Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Welcome back, all you thought criminals and ultra mega Republican extremists. <laughs> and those that are new, welcome. From TimCast.com. Detailed list of documents took from Mar a Lago reveals Trump had mostly magazines, photos, and empty folders. Yeah. Less than one half of one percent of seized materials were documents with any classification marking. Now you scroll down here, this is the picture they showed. Now, frankly, if these were really secret documents, not even these geniuses would sp spread them out and then release the picture to the media. Look at the box on the right. is looks like a framed copy of a Time magazine cover. <laughs> uh, what's next? Uh, Donald Trump's uh, first grade paint by numbers in our class. How about his third grade report card? It's amazing to me. It truly is. Let's read on. A federal judge has unsealed a full list of items seized by the FBI in August 8th, raided right the former president's home in Palm Beach, Florida. Court records show that 86% of the items retrieved were documents, photographs without classification markings. Less than one half of 1% of these items seized by the FBI were documents with a classification marking. Of the boxes agents removed from Mar-a-Lago, and you can see the list there, 57 secret, 31 confidential, 15 top secret. Now, that doesn't mean he has those unlawfully. And some say, well, John, you know, he didn't fill out all the proper paperwork and do all the legal steps involved to declassify something. That's true of every single federal employee, except for one, the president of the United States. Just by showing it to somebody, he automatically declassifies. He can do so at whim and, at, and by will. 11, over 11,000 documents and photographs, over 1,600 magazines, newspapers, and press articles, 90 empty folders, 37 books, 19 articles of clothing, gift items. Oh, they got a Make America Great jock strap. I'm sure there was a whole bunch of Make America Great hats and paraphernalia. Gift items, probably from uh, leaders around the world, public figures, who knows. Earlier this week, the internet was a buzz after leaked images showed folders and markings on the outside, ranging from the lowest classification to the highest. This is to show you what he had. It's the code to the missiles. He's going to sell them to the Russians and the Iranians and the Chinese. He's a traitor selling out his country. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, remember the adults in Charlie Brown? Wah, 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 wah. Today's release, and then here's the whole list, of course. I'm not going to. It's all who wants to. It's, it's like watching paint dry. I'm not going to go through it all. Cash Patel, former White House aide under the Trump administration. Sharp guy, by the way, Cash Patel. And former U.S. Department of Defense Chief of Staff said documents with classification markings had been declassified prior to Trump leaving, leaving office. And everybody goes, well, where's the paper trail to prove it? You don't need one. He has ipso facto authorization to unclassify anything he wants to whenever he wants to. He mentioned the documents contain information about the FBI's investigation into Hillary Clinton's email server. Now we're getting to the real reason it was raided. Additionally, he said other documents related to Crossfire Hurricane, the operation orchestrated by the Trump administration, excuse me, Obama administration, the spy on the Trump campaign. And after he was elected, the Trump presidential administration. A federal judge has not yet ruled any request for Trump's legal team for the appointment of a special master. Yes, the judge has appointed and, and notified the FBI of what's going on, and we're going to see that now. From PJ Media, judge grants Trump request for special master to review documents seized from Mar-a-Lago. Now, that's very good. We're going to read in the, in the specifics here in the article. According to a court order published on Monday... A federal judge will appoint a special master to review the documents and items seized. 
and the unprecedented, unprecedented raid on Trump's Mar-a-Lago home, which are likely to be covered by attorney, client, or executive privilege. U.S. District Judge Aileen M. Cannon agreed with Trump's lawyers and said that Trump still has some executive privileges after leaving office, contradicting the position taken by the Biden Garland Justice Department. They're law enforcement. They're not. They don't interpret the law. They're not the judicial branch. The court hereby authorized the appointment of a special master to review the seized property for personalized and documents and potentially privileged material subject to claims of attorney-client privilege or executive privilege. FBI officials will reportedly already reviewing the documents, but Judge Cannon ordered them to stop their review. And they cannot be used in the investigation until, uh, until an appointed special master. You want to bet a dollar they're still going through them? Cannon also ruled that the Office of the Director of National Intelligence could keep evaluating the possible risks of national security. There is no risk. But she's got to do it, I guess. Poised by the removal of classified documents, some were allegedly related to highly sensitive government and intelligence secrets. Now, what are highly classified and sensitive government secrets? How they lied? Did Trump have evidence of how they lied in the FISA warrant to get the, uh, the call the old days, to call it wiretapping and surveillance on his campaign? And then while Obama was president, knew about it and shook his hand and acted like his buddy, backstabber. You know, put your animosity aside. I have respect for Obama because he was president of the United States. I have very little respect for his policies. But it's a professional courtesy. It's always been done that way. I have never seen or even heard of a president on the way out okaying, spying on campaign number one and then the new president after they're sworn in number two never happened ever i think what's going to happen is trump is going to be indicted it's going to happen it's a grand jury from washington dc which is 99 percent progressive democrat leftist cult members and then we're going to see if they actually arrest donald trump And you think, John, that's an outrageous statement. They are losing, and they're panicking. When they raided Mar-a-Lago, they were panicking. There's nothing in there that Trump could not have legally, and they all know it. They were trying to, just like Watergate, you get caught in the cover-up. They were trying to get documents that showed what they did during Trump's presidency in the intelligence service, the DOJ, the FBI, the CIA. Documents about Hillary Clinton's server, how things they did do and didn't do, how they lied on FISA warrants, how they lied to judges on warrants like the judge from Mar-a-Lago for the raid. Let's just, it's, it, they say, well, we just came in and see some documents. It was a raid. They came with a warrant. It's look at this. They sprawled them out on the floor. There's nothing there that's illegal. If and when... Trump is indicted, and if or when he is placed under arrest, things will get crazy real fast. And I think that's their plan. As Biden talks about the ultra-mega Republicans, which are a small amount, and then he says the other way that voted for Trump is, but it's a small amount, they're going to make somebody do something stupid. There'll be mass protest. You get 100,000 people in a protest, there's always going to be 10, 15, 20 that do something stupid on both sides of the aisle. And that's what they're, that's what they're counting on. They want to call, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they called martial law in October and early November, right through the election. I wouldn't shock me a bit. They will do anything not to lose authority. And then there's going to be two years after that before the 2024 election. Will the Republicans have the stones to do what is right? We'll have to see, but I know one thing for certain. They can't do what is right unless they're in office in the next term. Because they'll be under an incredible microscope by the mega people. And I include myself in that group. They're panicking like a wounded animal. They're lashing out. And God knows what can happen. And God knows who they're going to hurt. Our country's hanging on the edge. These people would rather burn it all down than lose control and power. It's that simple. Until next time.
goodbye, and good luck.